What's up guys, Jean K here, and welcome to my first ever bullet journal video for the month of April. I've always wanted to make a bullet journal video, but ever since I left my bullet journal in the airplane pocket seats, you know, where the magazines would be, it just felt so uninspired and unmotivated to restart a new one. This happened two years ago, and I was super proud of that first bullet journal. Then last year came and well, I did start a new bullet journal, but I was never consistent. I just ended up not continuing halfway through. This year, I've been keeping it up because, well, I want to be more organized and I want to set goals again. Plus, honestly, I have a really bad memory, so this will help keep track of everything. April is my birthday month too, so I wanted to do an Alice in Wonderland theme for April. Hint, red is my favorite color. By the way, all the items that I used in this video will be in the description box below. All of these spreads is not originally mine, so I'll make sure to pop their Instagram name down below on the left hand screen for each spread. I usually do everything first in pencil for that cleaner look later on, and I thought it would be easier to just trace everything for this video. The cover page says, Welcome April, with a rabbit saying, Hurry up! When and honestly, I mean hurry up for this coronavirus to end because even though it's nice to be cooped up inside your house, you tend to just start going crazy over boredom. I'm the type of person who loves to explore, go on adventures, eat out, go to dance, and just try new things. But if you look in the bright side, I would have never made this video. We are saving a lot more money by staying in. I'm doing a lot more self-care and DIY projects that I've been pushing aside and catching up on shows. Comment down below what are you guys doing during this quarantine. For the cover page, if you saw in the beginning, I started off with a gold pen because that one dries so slow. Just be careful to not touch it while drying the rest of your spreads. You'll see later in this video that I do smudge the gold several times. On the rabbit and a little bit on the watch, I start stippling which is where you are drawing numerous dots for shading. You don't have to do this but it is therapeutic for me so I just decided to do that anyway. I don't really like this red color but my marker dried out and I kind of just used what I had. The red that I use is actually a watercolor pencil but I didn't want my pages to be wrinkly, so I just kept it as is. Here 
here's a pop-up on where I found this spread from. This person is so creative. The last minute, I didn't like how I partly outlined the title, Hurry Up, so I went back and outlined the whole thing, like I did with April. The next page, I'm using a monthly log where I would jot down any important dates, events, or birthdays. Alice finds herself at a mad tea party. So this page will be filled with a bunch of teacups and teapots. You can shade some of the cups so some of them pop out more than others. I know I scattered some of the numbers out only because I know someone's birthday or there's a Zoom meeting. You can number the whole month, but because a lot of things are canceled during shelter in place, I wanted to just keep these specific dates as a reminder for myself. If I need to add a number, then I'll just draw a line in between to add that number. Again, feel free to number the whole month if you'd like. I did mess up and have two extra lines at the end, but it's okay. I can probably use that for notes or I can just put in a quote for the month. The title says, it's time for a little madness. I just thought this was appropriate right now because, well, everyone is going quote unquote mad right now, especially in the grocery store since a lot of things are sold out. It can be frustrating to see your items not there, but just be hopeful next time. Don't put your frustration out on the workers because they're doing their best to stock things up. Make sure to wear your mask as well when you go out. And if you do see an elderly, just make sure to help them out too if you did get the last item on the shelf. Start drawing your dangling teacups and teapots above. Sorry, I wanted to skip ahead since it's just a bunch of small cups. I did want to continue with a hint of red so I colored in that. And well, keep drawing those teacups and the last teapot. Here's the second pop-up for the person's insert. This next page, I didn't know how I would do this, but I wanted to dedicate a page for a list of movies or shows that I've watched this whole month. If you know me, you know that I'm really bad with remembering names. I'm always asking my boyfriend Christian, well, what did we watch again? Or I would want to remember what we watched during the month so I can recommend them to my friends or family. If I did love a movie or show, then I'll add it to my yearly spread list of movies in the beginning of my bullet journal. I couldn't really find a spread that I liked until I saw this drawing of someone's tattoo. I forgot the tattoo artist's name, but if I find them again, then I'll link in the description box below. But for now, this will be anonymous. If you guys know the artist's name, please comment down below so I can give the shout out and credit the correct person.
Now, some of you might be wondering, how can I add my list of movies or show to this page? Easy! Just draw a squiggly line and write the title on it. My roommates and I binge watched the Rush Hour movies again, and we wanted to see what Tiger King was about. And oh man, that was a weird journey. I also will be adding the latest Terrace House episode that I just finished. Next to that is the weekly spread. I was so happy it started on Wednesday so I can evenly distribute the days up until Sunday. I chose this person's weekly spread because it was fast, easy, and just had less drawings for me to do. I think the most that I had to draw for this page is above the weeks where I drew half of the diamond and a spade from a deck of cards. When you get to the spade, start drawing those wind spirals from Van Gogh's painting, The Starry Night. And then, once you get to the diamond, putting that pop of red, just make a bunch of lines to make the diamond a little more abstract. I actually added this video the next day so that you guys can see how a full weekly spread will look like. I started to write in my bullet journal so I covered my journal post-its. I messed up in the area where it says next week so just remove the word next and the line on top and just put the word next right next to week <laughs> if that makes sense and that's it here's the whole look for the month of april i hope you guys enjoyed this i know it's a little late but i am still new at this stay tuned for june since that will be halfway through the year i feel like around that time will be the best time to show you my journey with this bullet journal from the beginning since i'm so proud of how it looks like up until now Make sure to like this video if you want to see the rest of my bullet journal, subscribe to see more content, and until next time, let's draw together soon. Bye!